All summer long, kids across the state enjoyed summer camps where they were able to swim or hike. But some kids had a chance to spice things up with a new cooking camp for kids called My City Kitchen. It's a new program aimed at helping kids learn to cook and eat more healthy. And here to share more about how the program evolved is founder and chef Kasha Cave. And alongside of her is her sous chef, so to speak. Christian Thoris, welcome to the show, you two. Thank you. Great to have you. Now, let's set all this up, Kasha Cave, because this is a pretty interesting program yes, that you've is. launched. Mm -hmm. My City Kitchen. Yes. How did you come up with it? The name came up because um, I wanted to get back to basic, cooking in the kitchen, getting the kids involved with basic family values, you know, uh, setting the table, getting involved. And I wanted uh, the name My City Kitchen because I wanted the kids to identify that this is about me, this is about my city, my kitchen, and what it is we're doing in the community and working in the inner city. That is awesome. Now let's talk about what we're making today. Let's set all this up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us what we're making? Do you know? We're making a vegetable lasagna. Vegetable lasagna. Now you're kind of like her sous chef, right? Yes. How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen years old, Christian. What do you love most about cooking? I like starting from scratch. All right. And you're learning a lot with My City Kitchen? Yes. All right. Let's get this party started then. Kasha, walk us through how we get this thing going here. Okay. First of all, I'm just going to introduce some of the ingredients we have here. Sure. Okay. Christian has a ricotta cheese and he made uh, some fresh herbs. And we have uh, sage, parsley, oregano, thyme, rosemary. Okay. And we chopped everything up. Everything is fresh. Oh. Okay. Smell that. Nice and strong. Mmm, smells delicious. Okay. And we what have, else do we have? We have mozzarella cheese. Okay. Fresh parmesan. All right. We have uh, zucchini squash, okay. eggplants, and uh, pasta sauce. And he's going to build the uh, build the pasta, build the uh, lasagna. And you've and gotten the wheat, wheat the yes, wheat lasagna. Wheat lasagna, exactly. Because really, all part of my city kitchen is about learning to eat healthy. Eat healthy, yes. And because we're combating obesity, you talk a lot about that. Yes, uh, obesity is a real problem not just in the United States, but all, of, all around. And what I wanted to do is combine both my uh, passion for cooking with kids and cooking in the kitchen. I grew up in the islands of Trinidad and Tobago, and growing up, you know, we used everything from scratch. We, as, you know, I was teasing her earlier because she was baking breads, doing cakes, and gathering eggs from the chicken coop. Yes, this beautiful woman. Gathering, yes. yes. Got to shoot the chicken. <laughs> and um, it was important for me growing up to learn how to do that. And I, you know, building relationship with my parents, my grandparents. We come, I come from a cooking family, mm. and everyone knows how to cook. And when I came to the United States, what I noticed is that a lot of uh, children, they, they're not involved in the kitchen. Everything is fast food, on the go, very hectic. And I wanted to just take the time out to teach the kids how to eat healthy and go back to basic. In building that family unity, what yes. are you doing over here? You already started. I love this. Now, what have you done? Tell, tell the folks at home what you've done. I've laid out the pasta sauce and put the lasagna noodles on top. Okay, and lasagna noodles on top, and that's key, right? Yes. Okay. He's like, hello, Desiree. Come on now. Okay. Now, in my city kitchen, that is really what it's about. You're teaching yes. them, like, food preparation. Yes, basic life skills that they're going to need uh, when they get older. Say mommy is uh, sick and there is nothing nobody can cook, you know, how are they going to do it? So teaching them things that they can use, you know, just oven, microwave, basic cooking techniques teaching them about table setting, etiquette, and plating, everything that goes with cooking. This is a fresh program. I mean, yes, you just is. started in June, but the yes. response has been awesome. Overwhelming. It's, it's, it's so unbelievable. And it just tells me that I'm onto something good. Onto yes. something fantastic. Now, walk us through over here, Stu Chef, Christian Torres, if you will. What are we doing now? Now we're laying uh, the vegetables on top first. I'm starting with the eggplant. Okay. Can I help you out here? Sure. Okay. In the meantime, talk to us, Kasha, if you will. Now, you have the need for volunteers, but more importantly, too, you're always looking for help. Is that right? Exactly, yes. And what I do have, um, I do have uh, two students, one from Wilcox uh, Technical High School from the Culinary Arts Program, uh, working with me and assisting me in the kitchen. And also I have another student, Jill Terrell from Platt High School, mm. and she's also uh, volunteering and helping me out. My son, Brandon, who's also uh, heavily involved in the program as well. And you always say that, you know what, if folks want to make donations, people yes. that want to get involved, you're yes. always looking for that as well. I am always looking for support and help. Uh, people can always go on my website, 
mycitykitchen.org, log on and make a donation. You know, this is a because it's going cause. to a great cause. Exactly. These kids are getting involved, and I love the idea on your website. You talk about the local farmers market. You yes. are taking these kids that are mm -hmm. involved in My City Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Why are you taking them to farmers markets? I grew up on a farm. Uh, my grandfather, he's 95 years old, and he he's a farmer. He's still strong, and I'm growing up is just. Um, you have that, that thing. You want something, you just go to the garden and you get it. Mm. And I want the kids to know that the food just don't come from the freezer section at the grocery store. And teach them about agriculture, teach them about farming, and just show them how, where the food comes where from. Where the food comes from? Exactly. Christian, we got to know something. Did your mom make you sign up? Was, was this your idea? This was um, my own idea that Keisha brought to me. Okay. I, said that, I said that it would be great, so I would help her out. Oh, so you would help her out as a sous chef? Yes. Okay, I like that. Now, will you tell the folks at home what you've done now? We've already lined it with the ricotta cheese. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and then what was the next step? The mozzarella cheese. Okay, now will you go ahead and walk folks at home through what you're going to do next? And I'm going to pull the one out of the oven you brought. So what are you going to do now? Next, I'm going to uh, lay three more lasagna noodles. Okay. Oh, you better watch out. Look at this. And then for folks at home, after you would do that, you would just put a little bit more sauce on top. Is that all you would do? Um, no. Okay, no, he says no. Okay, go ahead and tell them quickly at home what you would do then. We're going to put that on top of the acacia, and then what happens? He's going to layer it, uh, make two more layers, and okay. then we're going to top it off with some fresh Parmesan cheese. We're going to put it in the oven, bake it for about 30 minutes and at 400. is a finished project. Listen, if you'd like more information on how you can get your child involved with My City Kitchen, yes. you want the recipe, you want to make it on your own and be a sous chef like this gentleman here, just click on WTNH.com. Come on over to Connecticut Style. Kasha K, thank you so very much. Thank you. Christian Thonis, muchas gracias. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. More Connecticut style coming your way right after this. And yes, I'm digging in right now. Yes, Come on, is. Sonia. Come on in here.